Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, I'm going to talk about compound interest investing, math of finance. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So the problem states at the end of each quarter, a 50 year old woman puts $1,200 in a retirement account that pays 7.2% interest compounded quarterly. Part A, when she reaches age 60, what is the value of the account? Part B, if no further deposits or withdrawals are made to the account, what is the value of the account when she reaches age 65? Okay. So in order to solve part A, we have to use the formula for the future value FV of an ordinary annuity used to accumulate funds is given by. Annuity is where we make regular deposits like this woman does $1,200 at the end of each quarter. So the formula is FV is equal to payment which is the amount she puts into the account at the end of each quarter. That is multiplied by in the parenthesis, one plus I raised to the power of M minus one divided by I, where PMT payment is the payment at the end of each period. I is equal to R over M, where R is the annual interest rate in decimal. M is the number of periods per year and N is the total number of periods. Now in this case, payment PMT is 1200 I, the annual rate of interest is 0 0.072 and it is compounded quarterly. So divided by four because our compounding period is number of periods is four, four quarters in a year. So I is 0 0.018. So the formula and M, she invests this for a, 10 years from age 50 to age 60. So 10, 60 minus 50 is 10 multiplied by four quarters per year is equal to 40 quarters. So the finally the formula reduces to one plus 0 0.018 comes from 0 0.072 divided by four. The whole thing in parenthesis exponent or raised to the power of 10 years multiplied by four 40 quarters minus one divided by I, which is 0 0.018, which is FV, future value is equal to 1200 times 1.018, that symbol is exponentiation or power 40 in my calculator, TI-84, minus one divided by 0 0.018, or FV is equal to 1200 in parenthesis, 1.018 exponent 40 is 2.041, minus one in parenthesis divided by 0 0.018 or 1200 multiplied by 1 1.041 divided by 0 0.018, which if we do the calculation correctly in our calculator, it will be 69,400. So this is the money uh, for part A, when she reaches age 60, what is the value of the account? It is 69,400. Now the question is, after age 65, 60, if she makes no further deposits or withdrawals, what is the value of the account when she reaches age 65? So in that case, we will use the value A, regular compound interest formula, A is equal to P times one plus I to the power of N. Now it's regular compound interest formula. Here P is the money at the beginning of 60th year, which is 69,400. I, same interest, uh, 0 0.072 compounded quarterly, which is 0 0.072 divided by four is 0 0.018. And she, we are interested in the money in, when she is 65. So 65 minus 60 is five years, multiplied by four quarters is 20 quarters. So basically it is 69,400 multiplied by in parenthesis, one plus I, which is 1.018 to the power of N is 20. 
five years, four quarters, five times four is 20. And if we crank out the numbers in our calculator, it will be 99,155. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for listening and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button at the bottom right corner. And this way I come back every week to do a new problem. My goal is to help you to earn success in math. So thanks for watching, take care and have a nice day and I will see you next time.